Robert White, thank you very much for joining us. Having seen the show last night, and uh, there's obviously the massive musical influence. Yes. Uh, when I was younger, I, I grew up in a, in, a, in a very musical house. I grew up in A flat. Uh, and um, my, 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 uh, from the very, very young age, um, I was uh, constantly listening to musicals until uh, my father was uh, put into prison for stapling a radio to my head. Guys, I, I think we're going to come together and have a lovely time because I've got my keyboard there and I'm actually generally a musical genius. I wrote three symphonies at the age of 12. I taught myself the piano. I sucked off my music teacher. Um, <laughs> he said I was a genius. I said, oh, <laughs> Mr. Harris. Because um, throughout the show, you actually delve into many different types of music. Well, I taught myself the piano. Um, much out of necessity more than desire in that um, I had no friends when I was a kid and therefore I just sat in my room tinkling about, um, banging away constantly, fingers moving ten to the dozen and, uh, and sometimes I played the piano as well. Simon Amstel does it being rude and bitchy with the charm of Adolf Hitler and the hair of Lionel Richie. Oh. <laughs> Stephen Fry does it in witty exchanges, George Michael does it in toilets with strangers. <laughs> Richard does it in the closet, fooling no one at all. Dale Winton does it on the National Lottery, showing us his bonus balls. During the show, you often bring people up on stage. I like to connect directly with people. I don't like to be one of those sort of comedians who just stands up and sort of goes, oh, my life is like this or such and such. But for me, you'll do. Yes. Yes, you'll do. For me. Will you paint my shoe? Go to Timbuktu. Will you clean my loo? Really scrub the poo? <laughs> Good. So if I was to tell people about my life, they'd probably want to kill themselves. It's been so horrific. Being driven around all the place constantly, um, not knowing who's driving you, not knowing how big your house is. It is just one big fuck shop. <laughs> Props on stage as well. Now they're interesting. Yeah, again, it's getting past this this barrier. It's getting past out into the audience. If you've got something to hand to someone, it's like it's like giving someone a toy. So if I was to if I was to give you a toy, um, that would be a connection between ourselves. No, because I did a gig in Singapore, and this woman goes, "We don't do puns in Singapore." And you think, how can you have a whole country where they don't do puns? So she just went to Singapore. I went to Singapore. She went to Singapore. I went. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> Say shells, shells. <laughs> Bangkok, um, <laughs> Croatia, Asia, Asia. <laughs> right, <laughs> Belfast. <laughs> um, right. Peking, Peking. All right, Edinburgh. Uh, no. All right, uh, <laughs> Edinburgh. I try that on you. Lovely people. 